Zoka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, IvyMastersDiversity.com, and today we're going to look at the 17th question from the Digital SAT Test 1 Module 2. It's from a Google Gap, the harder set of math questions. Number 17 reads, in the given system of equations, t is a constant. The system has no solution. What is the value of t? The easiest way to do this, honestly, just throw it into Desmos. Let's see what happens when you throw it into Desmos. It gives you this option to add a slider. What the heck is a slider? A slider will give you values of t that you could just adjust doing this so you don't have to type out a bunch of different equations. And check it out. One thing you need to know in order to get this question correct is that if you've got no solution, that means that the lines are parallel. So I'm gonna mess with that slider until my lines are parallel. And let's see, going, 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 going. Looks almost parallel, almost parallel. Getting there, getting there, getting there, getting there. Boom. Looks like they're parallel. I'm looking at the ends. It's just the same amount of space on both sides. Look, my answer is eight. Now, if you don't know how to do it, you could definitely do it like that. Now, how else could you do it? You could also do it, well, two things. When you're in the form y equals mx plus b, your slope is your m. When you're in the form ax plus by equals c, your slope here, I'll write it out, slope equals m. Here, in this form, slope equals negative a over b. And I can prove this, but this is going to wind up being a long video as it is. So if you're in this form, look at the second equation. It looks like it's very close to this one. So if I divide it, well, actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put it closer to the form. Y can do this. So I'm going to put 2y equals, I'm just going to switch the order of those two things, 2x plus 1 half. If you notice, it's out of order, so it's a little bit more difficult to see in the form y equals mx plus b. Then if I divide both sides by t, now don't worry about the double fraction with the y-intercept. You can see here that your slope is 2 over t. Now, the other equation looks a little more like it's in the form ax plus by equals c. So if I subtracted 10y from both sides, what I'd get is 4x minus 16y equals 2. Then if I did my negative here for b, my slope would equal, my a is 4. You can see the a corresponds with the 4. So it'd be negative 4, negative a over b. And your b, here it says plus b, here it says minus 16. So your b is actually negative 16 over negative 16. And then negative over negative to positive, this reduces to 1 fourth. So here your slope is 1 fourth. Now we already said that if there are no solution, the lines are parallel. The lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these equal to each other. 2 over t equals 1 over 4. And when I cross multiply and set equal, I get t equals 8. It's another way to do it. Okay, I'm going to erase all this stuff and we're going to look at one more way to get this answer. Alright. Um, which is, we could put them both, if you're just familiar with the form y equals mx plus b, then you could put them both in the slope intercept form in the form y equals mx plus b, and then just set the m's equal. So again, if I took that second equation and I divided both sides, well actually, again, first I'm going to put in order. So instead of 1 half plus 2x, I'm going to put 2x plus 1 half because that follows this form. y equals mx plus b a little bit closer. Divide both sides by t. I'm not worried about my double fraction for the y-intercept. You can see here that the slope is 2 over t. It would be that four. Now let's look at this equation again in the form y equals mx plus b. To get the y alone, what I'm also I'm going to do at first is I'm going to just subtract 10y from both sides, which will give me negative 16y plus 2. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to erase it over here because it's an equal over here. My B. Okay, negative 4x. I already got that, so I'm going to subtract negative 4 then I get negative 16y, y, y equals, that's a negative 4x plus 2. And if I 
divide both, both sides by negative 15. When you divide both sides by negative 16, it's like dividing every monomial, every little thing by negative 16. So I get y equals negative over negative to positive. And if I reduce 4 over 16, I get 1 fourth x. And then it's minus 1 eighth. Well, that's the same as y intercept. So here you can see the slope is 1 fourth. Here you can see the slope. Here the slope is 1 fourth. Here the slope is 2 over t. So again, setting those slopes equal, 2 over t equals 1 over when you cross multiply and set equal in the same scenario as 1 4, t equals 8. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty finding the slope. Any questions you'd like to see answered from any official PSA data lesson here at ECT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot the video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day.